We have two, three, four, five red lights in Monza. Out they go, and we're underway with a lightning start. Oh, Giotto stalled. Giotto has stalled from pole position. What a disaster for the championship leader. And it's Ocon immediately in to the lead of this race. Check on has the inside line for second. Are they all going to behave through the first turn? So easy to make contact here. Great momentum, though, coming through Kerber Grande. Again, it's a similar position. We've seen it in the GP2 race. Send your car to the inside, and you've got to have something truly special to go around the outside. And that's exactly what Emil Bernstorff has managed to do. Absolutely sensational driving from the Arden man. But Kirchhoff is not going to accept that lying down, and he's back through again. So passing and repassing here at Monza. Bernstorff, surely with a great run once again. Can he finally make that move work? Because if he can get past Kirkhofer, there's a chance to hunt down his teammate for a podium here. Terrific speed as they go past us now into the braking zone. And this time, is it going to work for Bernstorff? Looking good at the moment. Surely he's completed the move for fourth place. But now Emil Bernstorff setting the fastest lap of the race and trying to take away a podium finish from his teammate. Nervous moments on the Arden pit wall. Has Chekhov gone too deep? He's really going to be vulnerable into the second chicane. Bernstorff may well already have the move complete. He's definitely going to have the favorable line if he can hang on around Curva Grande. Side by side they go. Immense speed. Hardly any difference between the cars at all. Down into the breaking point now. Who's going to be bravest? Who's going to take the position? It's going to be Bernstorff, but he's locked up but he somehow got it slowed down, and Bernstorff is a man on a charge up from fifth earlier on in the race. He is now third, having displaced his teammate, and can Bernstorff carry for this momentum? Because he doesn't have too far to go up the road to catch the battle for the lead. There you see the gap between second and third. And Parry, who has held second place in this race for so long, seemingly defenseless he's so far back into the braking zone but look at the confidence that emil bernstorff has just slicing through is he going to be able to respond to that sort of lap time half a second faster on lap 15 half a second faster on lap 16 and we really are in for a grandstand finish here and can bernstorff seal a fantastic victory and deny ocon first place for the second feature race in a row. It's going to be decided right at the end of this fantastic GP3 race here in Italy. Good momentum for Bernstorff, who's trying on the penultimate lap of the race to get the job done, to take the lead. He's got a lot of momentum. We've seen him go around the outside of an ART once before. Is he going to do it again? It's looking good, and he's into the lead of the race with barely over a lap to go. What a brilliant drive from Emil Bernstorff, who wins in Italy from fifth to first. Spent the early part of the race battling with Kirchhofer. Clearly annoyed the German driver, but once he was clear of the ART, he absolutely sliced through the field. Great composure, great tire management, great overtaking. That was a drive that had it all.